2024 has taken the world by storm, with UFO sightings hitting an all-time high and shaking even the most skeptical minds. From strange, glowing crafts zipping across the sky to eerie encounters that defy explanation, it's clear that something big is happening in the skies above us. People around the globe have captured jaw-dropping footage of mysterious objects, sparking debates, theories, and endless questions. Are we truly alone? As these sightings pile up, the boundaries between conspiracy and reality begin to blur. What are these objects? Where are they from? And, most importantly, why now? With each new sighting, the anticipation grows that perhaps this could be the year we make contact with something beyond our world. In this video, we're counting down the top 30 most unbelievable UFO sightings that remain unexplained. Buckle up, because these encounters are sure to leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the universe. Let's dive into the stories that have left even the experts scratching their heads. The truth might just be out there. Number 1. Phoenix Lights of 1997 This is one of the most widely talked about mass UFO sighting in history, which has left everyone dumbstruck for more than 26 years. This incident has led to the creation of multiple documentaries and even a horror movie. The Phoenix Lights, also known as the Lights in Over Phoenix. In you took part in one of the largest military cover-ups in United States history. That's correct. Were a series of widely observed unidentified flying objects spotted in the skies over Arizona and Nevada in the southwestern United States on March 13, 1997. Harkins, excuse me, Theater in Scottsdale hosted a community forum on the Phoenix Lights today and aired a documentary on this exact sighting. Thousands of witnesses reported seeing a series of mysterious lights forming a distinct V-shaped pattern in the night sky over Arizona. Some witnesses even saw five floating lights moving silently across the night sky. The lights were described as bright, steady, and in a V-shaped or boomerang formation. Despite attempts by the U.S. Air Force to attribute the phenomenon to military flares, skeptics continue to question the official explanation. Similar triangular aircrafts have been spotted in Sunrise, Florida, and even over Manhattan, New York. So were these smaller UFOs part of the gigantic mothership seen in 1997? Number two, Foo Fighters, 1940s. During World War II, Allied pilots reported mysterious phenomena known as Foo Fighters. These glowing orbs followed aircraft, exhibited extraordinary maneuverability, and seemed to perform intelligent maneuvers. Pilots from both sides of the conflict reported similar experiences. We've got uh, a number of lights, eight, 10, 12 lights coming in on the left of the aircraft group that are apparently maneuvering in a very unusual way and then just take off at a very high rate of speed. This type of thing was reported many times. Suggesting a universal phenomenon rather than isolated incidents. The term Foo Fighters was derived from a comic strip and the sightings were characterized by bright spherical lights that hovered near aircraft and then sped away at incredible speeds. Despite numerous theories, including secret enemy weapons and atmospheric phenomena, the true nature of Foo Fighters remains unexplained. These objects were called different things at the time before they got a name, and the name that stuck was Foo Fighters. And it comes from a comic strip that was popular at the time called Smokey Stover. And he had a saying, which was, where there's a Foo, there's fire. The U.S. government has never offered an explanation for the Foo Fighters. These sightings marked the beginning of modern UFO phenomena and sparked interest in aerial anomalies. The Foo Fighters were not just a wartime curiosity. They were a catalyst for the burgeoning post-war interest in UFOs, laying the groundwork for future sightings and reports. Number 3. UFO over Jerusalem 
This shocking incident took place in 2011 in the Holy Land of Jerusalem in Israel. This sighting is particularly distinct because of the manner in which the UFO eventually fled into the night sky. This footage was recorded by a native of Jerusalem while he was out on his night stroll. He suddenly spotted this extremely bright light above the city and started recording the video. But what happened next completely scared onlookers for their very life. After some time, the UFO slowly started descending like it was about to land in the city. Terrified onlookers continued to look with jaws wide open, thinking that this would be their first ever alien encounter. But just as the UFO was about to land, it hovered for some time and then suddenly shot up into the sky at unprecedented speeds. This incident took place over one of the holiest places on Earth, the Dome of the Rock, known as the Temple Mount. This site holds great importance in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Hence, people are speculating that this bright orb, or UFO, was not there just by fluke, but with a planned agenda. But why was this UFO hovering over a place of religious significance we might never know? Number 4. Kenneth Arnold Sighting, 1947 In June 1947, civilian pilot Kenneth Arnold reported seeing nine crescent-shaped objects flying at high speeds near Mount Rainier, Washington. Arnold's description of their movement as like a saucer skipping across water led to the term flying saucer. This sighting received widespread media attention and is considered the first major UFO sighting of the modern era. Arnold estimated the object's speed at over 1,200 miles per hour, far surpassing any known aircraft at the time. His sighting was corroborated by other witnesses, but the object's origin and nature remain a mystery. Arnold's experience laid the foundation for the public's fascination with UFOs and set the stage for subsequent sightings and investigations. The significance of Arnold's sighting extends beyond the event itself. You've seen something, I've seen something, hundreds of pilots have seen something in the skies. We have dutifully reported these things. And we have to have 15 million witnesses before anybody's going to look into the problem seriously. Why, this is utterly fantastic. This is more fantastic than, than flying saucers or, or people from Venus or anything as far as I'm concerned. It marked the beginning of a new era in UFO sightings one characterized by increased public scrutiny and media attention. Number 5. White Orbs Over Area 51 Being synonymous with aliens and UFO activity, it shouldn't come as a surprise that Area 51 finally made it to this list. The exact date of this sighting cannot be established, but the quality of this footage suggests that it was taken somewhere in the 90s. In the start, we can clearly see four bright orbs hovering in the sky above the mountains. Then suddenly, one of the orbs on the right side disappeared, followed by the disappearance of the remaining three orbs. The fear of seeing such an unnatural phenomenon can clearly be heard in the voice of the onlookers. Now, it just disappeared. They're disappearing. They heard us up on the mountain. They did. This was followed by the onlookers aimlessly moving their cameras while trying to search for the orbs, but to no avail. Such an eerie phenomenon of orbs appearing in the sky and disappearing into thin air occurred two more times. Once in September 2018 in Texas, where three bright orbs in the sky disappeared for a brief moment, only to reappear again. Similarly, in 2021 in New York, three bright lights were spotted high up in the night sky. But they slowly disappeared after noticing an incoming commercial flight, perceiving it as a possible threat. Where the lights go? Yo, where they go? Why these bright orbs appear and then suddenly disappear is one mystery that is baffling most UFO hunters. Number 6. Roswell Incident, 1947 
Perhaps the most famous UFO incident in history, the Roswell crash involved the recovery of debris from an elegant flying saucer near Roswell, New Mexico. Initially, the US military reported recovering a flying disc, but later retracted the statement, claiming it was a weather balloon. Would you ever open up Roswell and let us know what's really going on there? So many people ask me that question. I know, yeah. it sounds almost ridiculous, no, but it's actually it's, the real question. It sounds I want like to know. a cute question, but it's actually, there are millions and millions of people that want to go there, that want to see it. I won't talk to you about what I know about it, but it's very interesting. But Roswell's a very interesting place with a lot of people that would like to know what's going on. This retraction fueled conspiracy theories suggesting a government cover-up of an extraterrestrial spacecraft and its occupants. Witnesses reported seeing unusual materials at the crash site, including metal that returned to its original shape after being crumpled. The incident inspired numerous books, documentaries, and investigations, becoming a central piece of UFO lore. Despite official explanations, the Roswell incident remains a cornerstone of UFO conspiracy theories and continues to captivate the public's imagination. The lasting impact of the Roswell incident is evident in its enduring presence in popular culture and its influence on subsequent UFO narratives. Number 7. Spherical UFO Seen in Colombia Colombia is infamous for being a hotbed for UFO sightings. Later on, we will talk about two more instances when metallic spheres were seen floating in the skies of Colombia. But this particular sighting took place in 2023. It was recorded from a commercial flight traveling from Bogota to Salento. Commercial airlines fly at an altitude of about 40,000 feet and this metallic sphere was seen cruising in a straight direction at such a high altitude. If this was a weather balloon, it would be floating around and not moving in a straight direction. This indeed goes to show that it was being propelled by a strong force. Similar metallic spheres were seen in the Colombian skies on two other occasions. The first one occurred in 2020 and was also recorded from a commercial airplane by a pilot. And on seeing the footage, we will notice that this sphere is identical in appearance and movement to the one spotted in 2023. The second time a metallic sphere appeared was in May 2023 and the pilot recording the footage nearly missed a head-on collision with the incoming UFO. Are these metallic spheres keeping a close watch on the Colombian military or maybe the drug cartel? Or is there a secret alien base in Colombia that we don't know of? Number 8. Maury Island Incident, 1947 the Maury Island incident occurred shortly before the Kenneth Arnold sighting and involved Harold Dahl's report of seeing six donut-shaped UFOs near Maury Island, Washington. One of the objects allegedly dropped slag-like material that damaged Dahl's boat and injured his son. The incident attracted attention from UFO investigators and government officials, including Kenneth Arnold himself. Dahl's account was initially met with skepticism and subsequent investigations revealed inconsistencies. Despite claims of a hoax, the Maury Island incident remains significant for its timing and connection to other major UFO sightings in 1947. It highlights the complexities of early UFO reports and the challenges in distinguishing genuine sightings from potential fabrications. The Maury Island incident serves as an example of the early challenges faced by UFO researchers in verifying reports and dealing with possible hoaxes. Number 9. Western U.S. Objects This particular sighting was released to the public on 31st May 2023 by Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick, then director of the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, also known as ARO. The footage was recorded by a forward-looking infrared camera in 2021 from a military range in the western United States. In this video, 
three unidentified objects can be seen flying at extremely high altitudes with high speeds, equidistant from each other, in precision synchronized fashion. These UAPs were tracked for almost four minutes, and during this entire period, they stayed equidistant as though they were three lights being emitted from one singular craft. Such a feat is impossible to achieve by any current man-made aircraft as it would be difficult to remain equidistant for such a long time. Similar synchronized maneuvers are possible with modern-day drones, but these objects were flying at an altitude of almost 40,000 feet, which is impossible for consumer drones to reach. Even ARO has been unable to pinpoint exactly what these UFOs were. But how advanced is this alien tech that they can move as one singular unit, even with such high speeds and at such altitudes? Should we be afraid of them knowing that they are far superior than us when it comes to technology? Or should we hope that if they ever do make contact, they will share their technology for the betterment of humanity? Number 10. Aztec New Mexico Incident, 1948. Following the Roswell incident, another alleged UFO crash occurred in Aztec, New Mexico. Reports emerged that a large spacecraft had landed and was recovered by the military, with witnesses claiming the craft contained alien bodies. The story gained attention through a book by Frank Scully, Behind the Flying Saucers, which detailed accounts from anonymous sources. The Aztec incident is less well known than Roswell, but has its share of dedicated researchers and believers. Critics argue that the story was a hoax perpetuated by con artists, while proponents maintain that it was a genuine cover-up. The incident remains controversial, illustrating the ongoing debate over the authenticity of UFO crash reports. The Aztec incident highlights the period's fascination with crash recovery stories and the persistent belief in government secrecy regarding UFOs. Number 11. UAP seen by Navy pilots over the ocean. The exact location of this final classified UFO sighting has not been disclosed. But just like the previous two videos, the Pentagon made this classified video public in April 2020. This sighting took place just a few months after the tilting flying saucer was spotted on the east coast of America. From the video, it seems to be a metallic sphere moving in a straight line racing across the surface of the ocean. This also bears a striking resemblance to the metallic sphere that was spotted in the Middle East in 2022 that kept dodging the sensor of the military drone. Luckily, the skilled U.S. Navy pilots were able to lock onto the metallic sphere this time around. The Pentagon released the above three videos with the statement saying that the Department of Defense is releasing the videos in order to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been circulating was real or whether or not there is more to the videos. The aerial phenomena observed in the videos remain characterized as unidentified. Number 12. The Gorman Dogfight, 1948. In October 1948, World War II pilot George F. Gorman engaged in a prolonged aerial dogfight with a bright, fast-moving light over Fargo, North Dakota. Gorman reported the object outmaneuvering his plane and exhibiting intelligent control. The encounter was documented by multiple witnesses, including radar operators and other pilots. Gorman's detailed account and the corroborating evidence make this one of the most credible early UFO reports involving military personnel. Investigations by the Air Force's Project Sign suggested the object was a lighted weather balloon, but many remain unconvinced by this explanation. The Air Force uh, ended up explaining it as a combination of looking at planet Jupiter and a weather balloon which, in retrospect, does not make any sense. And Heineck was very skeptical of that explanation. The Gorman dogfight exemplifies the challenges in explaining UFO encounters and the potential for misidentification of conventional objects. 
The encounter also underscores the tension between military and civilian interpretations of UFO sightings during the early Cold War era. Number 13, UFO seen by pilots in 2015. The second classified video that was made public involved pilots coming across a flying saucer moving at tremendous speeds. This incident took place in 2015 near the east coast of America. The pilot seemed bamboozled on seeing this UAP at first. What further shocked them was the tilting movement of the craft from left to right that it maneuvered mid-air while traveling at great speeds. The pilot also noted that the UAP was moving against the direction of the wind, which on that particular day had a speed of 120 knots, approximately 138 miles per hour. Thus, this flying saucer would need to possess immense power to move at such great speeds in spite of such obstruction from the wind. The Department of Defense is yet to establish what exactly this UAP was. Number 14. The Lubbock Lights, 1951. In August 1951, a group of professors in Lubbock, Texas witnessed and photographed a series of V-shaped light formations moving across the night sky. The sightings were corroborated by numerous residents and captured in a famous photograph by Carl Hart Jr. The Lubbock lights were investigated by the Air Force's Project Blue Book, which concluded that the lights were likely caused by birds reflecting city lights. However, this explanation has been met with skepticism, and the incident remains unexplained. The problem with that is that there were many observers and they had seen birds before. So the idea that those were simply a flock of birds really isn't a good explanation. It could have been under certain circumstances, but in that particular setting, it does not explain the data. The Lubbock lights are significant for the large number of witnesses and the photographic evidence, contributing to the growing body of UFO reports in the early 1950s. The Lubbock Lights case highlights the role of photographic evidence in UFO investigations and the ongoing debate over its interpretation. Number 15. UAP spotted by Navy pilot in California. U.S. Navy pilots often fly over states for routine naval operations. But back in 2004, during one such routine aerial surveillance operation, a Navy pilot captured something very unusual on his radar. This incident took place off the coast of California. At first the pilot thought there was some error with his radar, but after some time, he realized that it was indeed an aircraft hovering right in front of him. It was an oval-shaped object that kept hovering in its position for quite some time. Even the pilot who recorded the footage said that this craft was not behaving according to the normal laws of physics. After noticing this weird craft, the pilot reported it to the Department of Defense. For nearly 16 years, the Pentagon kept this video classified, but in April 2020, the Department of Defense released this video to the public. Two other classified videos were also made available to the public in 2020. Number 16, Washington, D.C. UFO Incident, 1952. In July 1952, multiple UFOs were detected on radar and visually observed over Washington, D.C. We have, as of date, come to only one firm conclusion, and that is that it does not contain any pattern of purpose or of consistency that we can relate with any, to any conceivable threat to the United States. The sightings led to a series of scrambled fighter jets and widespread public concern. The events, known as the Washington National Airport sightings or the Washington Flap, received extensive media coverage and prompted a high-level government investigation. The Air Force attributed the sightings to temperature inversions causing radar anomalies, but many remained skeptical of this explanation. That's the history of U.S. government studies on UFOs. There's the idea that there's a, a secret and small elite body of people who are covering up the truth from the rest of society. 
that aliens from space have visited planet Earth, but nobody else is allowed to know about it. The incident highlighted the increasing tension and interest in UFOs during the early Cold War era and underscored the need for systematic investigation of such phenomena. The Washington, D.C. incident remains one of the most significant mass UFO sightings in history, reflecting the heightened public anxiety and governmental scrutiny of the time. Number 17. Spherical UFO seen by U.S. Navy off the coast of San Diego. This was the first time ever that UFOs were spotted so close to a U.S. Navy destroyer. This video was again released by filmmaker and ufologist Jeremy Corbell. This hostile confrontation took place off the coast of San Diego in July 2019. These UAPs swarmed around multiple Navy warships for hours, thus showing blatant lack of fear for the U.S. Army. Jeremy Corbell stated that similar events were reported by eight other Navy ships in the same area over three days. One of those ships, the USS Omaha, encountered as many as 14 of the UFOs all at the same time. For two long hours on the night of July 15, 2019, the crew of the Omaha detected on multiple sensor systems unknown objects that surrounded the ship. One of the objects, a self-illuminated sphere at least six feet in diameter, flew alongside the Omaha for an extended period and was observed through a thermal sensor. Then later it just disappeared into the ocean. The Army personnel who witnessed the event believe it was a coordinated interaction. Was this a show of strength by the aliens or just routine reconnaissance missions to keep track of the activity of the most powerful military in the world? If UFOs and aliens are making themselves visible to armies around the world, does that mean that they are preparing for a global invasion? Or are they just checking our military tech to see if we pose any threat to them? Number 18. Leveland UFO Case, 1957. In November 1957, numerous motorists in Leveland, Texas, reported encounters with a glowing, egg-shaped object that caused their vehicle's engines to stall. The sightings were investigated by local law enforcement and the Air Force's Project Blue Book. The official explanation attributed the phenomena to an electrical storm and ball lightning, but witnesses disagreed with this conclusion. Well, sir, it was a um, flying object. It was oval shaped and to me it looked flat on the bottom. It was uh, something I'd never seen before and uh, my car did quit running on the highway and coming back from Lubbock is what caused me to notice it. I see. Uh, did you uh, actually see the object itself? Yes, sir, I did. And could you give us approximately the size of the thing, or was it a massive, or was it just a light, or what happened? Exactly? Well, no, sir, it looked solid to me. I mean, it, it did have a definite shape. It was uh, kind of egg-shaped, was flat on the bottom, and it was a luminous bright. And about how long did it stay where you were? Oh, three, four minutes, something like that. And when it took off, did it also travel straight up? Well, almost straight up, and at very high speed. The Leveland case is notable for the consistency of the reports and the physical effects on vehicles, which add credibility to the accounts. The incident remains a compelling example of the interaction between UFOs and mechanical systems and continues to be studied by researchers. The Leveland case demonstrates the impact of UFO sightings on ordinary individuals and the broader community. Number 19. UFO spotted by the Mexican Air Force. Seeing one UFO is enough to send shivers down the spine of any eyewitness. Now imagine seeing 11 such UFOs, all at the same time. Wouldn't you just freeze to death at that very sight? That's exactly what happened to a Mexican fighter pilot in 2004. On March 5, 2004, the Mexican Air Force was carrying out routine surveillance operations for drug traffickers over the state of Campeche, which is located in southeast Mexico. 
that's when the Mexican fighter pilot came face to face with not one, but 11 bright UFOs. This incident occurred at an astounding altitude of 11,500 Maromayfti above sea level. These 11 UFOs appeared out of nowhere and surrounded the military jet which obviously put the pilot in an extreme state of panic as he thought he was under attack. Luckily, nothing of that nature occurred that fateful day. The Mexican Air Force then sent out more fighter jets to aid their pilot. This then led to a mid-air chase but the UFOs were so fast that the Mexican fighter jets lost sight of them and they were never seen after that. The fighter pilot even said that the UFOs knew that they were being pursued. But why would 11 UFOs surround a military jet? Such a hostile confrontation has never been documented before. Or maybe there is more to the story than meets the eye. Number 20. Betty and Barney Hill Abduction. 1961. The Betty and Barney Hill abduction is one of the most famous alien abduction stories. The couple claimed to have been taken aboard a spacecraft and subjected to medical examinations by extraterrestrial beings. The Hill's detailed account obtained through hypnosis included descriptions of the aliens and their procedures. The story received widespread attention and was later adapted into a book and a television movie. The Hill abduction case was significant for being one of the first widely publicized abduction reports and for the psychological and physical evidence presented. It sparked a new genre of UFO encounters and influenced subsequent reports of alien abductions. The Hill case also highlighted the use of hypnosis in retrieving abduction memories and the challenges in verifying such experiences. Number 21st. UFO spotted in Chile. In 1997, the Chilean government officially created a committee for the study of anomalous aerial phenomena. The committee was created with the sole purpose of studying all reports of UAP activity by commercial military and civilian pilots. And one such documented incident that was highly publicized took place in 2014. Chilean naval officers came across a UAP while flying along the coast of Santiago in their helicopter. What they encountered left them totally dumbstruck and confused. They were at a height of about 4,500 feet, and for nine straight minutes they kept recording this strange-looking UAP. At first glance, it looks like an elongated rocket moving horizontally. But as time goes by, the frontal part of the UFO moves ahead, leaving behind a long horizontal part. Even after studying the footage for two years, the Chilean military was unable to identify this unusual aerial phenomena. Also, it seems like aliens have a secret base on the moon. Let's continue to know more. Number 22. Westall UFO Encounter, 1966. In April 1966, over 200 students and teachers witnessed a large, saucer-shaped craft landing and taking off from a grassy field near their school in Westall, Victoria, Australia. The event was widely reported in the media, and witnesses have consistently maintained their accounts. The Westall encounter was investigated by local authorities and UFO researchers, but no definitive explanation was found. The incident is notable for the large number of witnesses, the daylight sighting, and the proximity of the craft to a populated area. The Westall UFO encounter remains one of Australia's most significant UFO sightings and continues to be a topic of interest and debate. The Westall case underscores the importance of eyewitness testimony in UFO investigations and the challenges in achieving consensus on such reports. Number 23. UFO seen by Ukrainian soldiers during the Russia-Ukraine war. Russian President Vladimir Putin recently said that he would use nuclear weapons if NATO deployed their troops on ground to fight against Russia alongside Ukraine. And it was after this horrendous nuclear threat by Putin that a mysteriously eerie-looking UFO was seen by Ukrainian soldiers. This is the second time that a UFO has been spotted in a war zone. Normally, UFOs have been seen above cities and also over mountains, 
but rarely have UFOs been spotted during an active war by soldiers. The footage shows Ukrainian soldiers from the 406th Battalion totally speechless and horrified after seeing the UFO right in front of them. You can't blame them for such a reaction as for a minute they actually thought that it was a new Russian aircraft that was ready to attack them with a nuclear weapon. But this UFO was disc-shaped and was completely stationary, floating in air for the entire duration. This completely bamboozled the Ukrainian soldiers, who can be heard swearing in Russian, out of fear of not being able to comprehend what they had just witnessed. The scary footage was captured by a heat vision quadcopter drone used by the Ukrainian armed forces. This mysterious hovering object bears a striking resemblance to the Baghdad Phantom, a skinny cylindrical object spotted above Iraq in May 2022 by the infrared heat camera of a U.S. Air Force Reaper drone. And this was not the last time that trained military personnel came across alien spaceships. Number 24. Shag Harbor Incident, 1967. The Shag Harbor Incident involved multiple witnesses observing a large illuminated object crash into the harbor in Nova Scotia, Canada. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police and military divers investigated the site, but found no trace of the object. The incident was documented in government reports and remains unexplained. The Shag Harbor Incident is significant for the official acknowledgement of the event and the thorough investigation that followed. The light, and here's where the light was first in the water and it drifted there and went out. And here's where the RCMP officer was. There's his car, he was somewhere across there when he see it and that's where he called it in. It is one of the best documented UFO cases in Canadian history and continues to be studied by researchers and enthusiasts. The Shag Harbor case highlights the potential for government and military involvement in UFO investigations and the importance of transparency in such efforts. Number 25, Metallic Sphere Seen at U.S. Navy Air Show. This unusual sighting took place in May 2024, just two months after the LaGuardia Airport Black Disc Incident. On the bright morning of 28th May, a Navy air show was on in full swing in Long Island with more than eager spectators. The Blue Angels, who are a U.S. Navy flight demonstration squadron, were also performing at the air show that day. And as always, people were filming the crazy fighter jet maneuvers when one of the spectators noticed something really inexplicable. In the video recorded by this particular witness, we can clearly see the Super Hornet jet moving from right to left, but if you slow down the video, you will notice a shiny metallic sphere rush past the U.S. Navy jet. The incident takes place so quickly that had it not been for the vigilant spectator, someone would think it's just a fly passing in front of the camera. Metallic spheres of this kind have been encountered in the past by not just U.S. Navy pilots, but Colombian commercial pilots and even U.S. military personnel in the Middle East. So if this UFO was only visible on slowing down the footage, what max speed was it traveling at without any visible means of propulsion known to man? And what creates even more curiosity is that these metallic spheres are normally seen near military installations. So are these aliens keeping a watchful eye on our military technology? Are they doing so to gauge if we are a threat to them before they make some kind of contact with us? Number 26, UFO seen by U.S. fighter pilot over the East Coast. The Pentagon has disclosed to lawmakers that it had cataloged 400 reports of UAPs. Out of these, 11 were near misses with aircrafts. U.S. military personnel have also come across UFOs on multiple occasions, and some of these encounters have even been captured on camera. Many of these footages have been declassified and released for public viewing. One such eerie footage was captured in 2021. A Navy pilot was flying his F-18 fighter jet off the East Coast 
when suddenly he noticed something strange in his airspace and reported it to the command center. The pilot then decided to remove his cell phone to record what he was seeing as proof, and this was the footage he captured. The UAP was so quick that we have to actually pause the video just to get a glimpse of it. Also, the UFO was moving at Mach speeds without any visible means of propulsion. When you look at the still image more closely, it clearly looks like a metallic sphere, which very much resembles the other metallic spheres that have been seen in the Middle East and Colombia. Even during the congressional hearing held in May 2022, naval intelligence couldn't give a concrete answer as to what that UAP was. Describe what we're looking at. What are we observing? It's reflective in this video, somewhat reflective, uh, and it quickly passes by uh, the cockpit of the, uh, of the aircraft. The big question that still remains unanswered is, why do so many UAP sightings happen near military aircrafts and bases? Are the aliens keeping a close watch on our military technology? Or are they preparing for something more sinister like a full-scale invasion? Number 27, UFOs seen in a triangle formation over Manhattan. Being the most densely populated of New York City's five boroughs, Manhattan houses iconic landmarks like Times Square, the Empire State Building, and the Rockefeller Center, to name a few, that are world-famous tourist attractions. And often such heavily populated areas are where UFO activity happens to peak. The lucky person to witness this spectacle was Hamid Vitalis, who was on his way to work on the night of 15th May, 2021. While walking along the Brooklyn Promenade, the unusual light formation in the sky caught his attention, and he immediately recorded the event on his phone. You can clearly see three bright lights high up in the night sky, equidistant from each other, in a triangle formation. This looks very similar to the triangle-shaped UFOs seen from the doorbell camera in Sunrise, Florida in 2023. These lights were stationary for some time, but when an incoming commercial flight started approaching these bright orbs, two of them suddenly disappeared, and only one bright light continued to be visible. And then the third light also slowly dimmed away so as to say that the aliens sensed some threat from the incoming commercial flight and moved away for their safety and anonymity. Number 28, UFO seen in South Asia. This video footage of a UAP was taken from a forward-looking infrared camera. Like most of the military captured UAP evidence, The exact time when the footage was taken is still unknown. This incident took place somewhere in South Asia. An MQ-9, which is an unmanned aerial vehicle, was conducting a routine surveillance operation for the United States Air Force, when suddenly, a very suspicious-looking object zoomed right past it. It looked like a circular disc, like a craft moving at a relatively high speed in a straight line. This footage was taken by another MQ-9, which was in the vicinity. If we pause the video, we can clearly see that the craft had an oblong shape. This UFO bears a striking resemblance to two other UFOs seen near private and military airspaces. One that was seen over LaGuardia Airport in New York, and the Baghdad Phantom that was spotted north of the city of Baghdad in Iraq. The All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, or ARO, which is an office set up to investigate unidentified flying objects, stated on its official website that the object likely is a commercial aircraft and that the trailing cavitation is a sensor artifact resultant of video compression. But no aircraft currently known to man resembles the UFO seen that day in South Asia. So is the U.S. Department of Defense purposely covering up an actual UFO sighting? This was about not the first time that the U.S. Air Force came face to face with a UFO in the sky. Number 29, UFO seen in Oklahoma night sky. This is another sighting that took place just recently in 2024. 
On the 4th of March, an Oklahoma resident was enjoying a quiet evening with his kids, right outside his residence, when suddenly they spotted something abnormal above them. They saw an unusually bright object in the sky giving off luminous white light. Initially, he thought it was a shooting star, but it was moving extremely slow to be one. Then suddenly the UFO blasted a white plume of air resembling a shockwave which further perplexed the onlookers. Some actually think that this was just a rocket launch that is getting blown out of proportion. Surprisingly, on that same day, SpaceX did have a launch from Cape Canaveral, Florida, but that launch took place at a totally different time and location compared to the UFO sighting. So was this just aliens keeping track of all the space launches that we do? Recently, Elon Musk even said, I don't see any evidence of aliens. As Starlink satellites have never dodged UFOs. Or maybe these UFOs are just too quick to detect. We will further see two other UFO sightings that shockingly got very close to the US military. Number 30. Tic-Tac UFO This sighting took place in 2004, and the footage was taken aboard a Navy fighter jet from the nuclear aircraft carrier, USS Nimitz. The footage was captured using a Raytheon advanced targeting forward-looking infrared pod which consists of the most advanced sensors and tracking system in the world. The sighting of this oblong object took place at an altitude of almost 20,000 feet. Also, this UAP was not giving out any plumes of smoke like a conventional aircraft. The fighter jet was moving at a speed of roughly 250 knots, that's almost 300 miles per hour. So this UFO was also moving at a relatively high speed just like the fighter jet. The fighter pilot constantly tried to change the mode of tracking to get a better understanding of the UAP, but to no avail. And then after almost a minute and a half of tracking the UAP, it suddenly accelerated towards the left at an unprecedented velocity, moving out of the view of the sensor. The fighter jet was unable to track it after that. Were the aliens already aware that the US fighter jet was tracking them, and were they just playing along? Number 31. UFOs spotted in Sunrise, Florida. This footage was recorded at night from a doorbell camera in Sunrise, Florida in 2023. In this video, three UFOs can be seen to move in the formation of an equilateral triangle. Such a formation would be very difficult to maintain when moving at high speeds by any of the current known aircrafts. The UFOs then eventually disperse in different directions. An eyewitness recorded another footage of the same event from another part of Florida, adding credibility to the sighting. This footage gives us a better understanding of how far apart the three UFOs actually are from each other. When seeing the first footage, initially it looks like a singular ship with three lights shining at its three edges. But later you can clearly see that the three UFOs start acting independently and move in opposite directions in precision synchronized fashion. Such synchronized movement has been seen at drone air shows. But it would have to be a very large drone, almost the size of an airplane to shine so brightly in the night sky from such a high altitude. People in Florida are still clueless about what they witnessed that fateful night. As we move ahead, we will also see the UFO that almost scared the Chilean military personnel. Number 32. Baghdad Phantom. This sighting got nicknamed Baghdad Phantom as it took place in Baghdad, Iraq. This was an active conflict zone at the time of the observation. This sighting took place on the 14th of May, 2022. Six classified images were taken north of the city of Baghdad by the U.S. Air Force using a Reaper drone with a thermal camera. These images were later released by filmmaker and ufologist Jeremy Corbell, who also leaked the Jellyfish UAP video at the start of 2024. Thermal spectrum could it be seen? Could anything be seen? 
anything that looks like that appears to have a payload, that's a big deal. It could be dangerous, so these are high priority. When these six images were stitched together, you can clearly see a disc-like object quickly zooming from left to right. Fast-moving crafts are powered by propulsion systems like rockets or engines that create heat. But the thermal camera that filmed the object showed it was colder than its surroundings. This goes to show that it was definitely not a rocket. It also implies that the spacecraft was made using highly advanced technology. For a second, you actually think that you are watching the UFO footage over LaGuardia Airport, but in infrared. Both these disks share a striking resemblance and were seen just two years apart near national and military airspaces. Was this the same UFO keeping an eye on America's military activity? The U.S. military designated the disk as an Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAP. Even AARO, which is an office set up by the Department of Defense to investigate unidentified flying objects, is now aware of this case and is carrying out its investigations. The filming of the Baghdad Phantom UAP was not an isolated UAP event in the area during this 24-hour period. UAPs consisting of various shapes were filmed during this UAP event series. But moving away from Baghdad, another shocking UFO sighting took place right next to a U.S. military fighter jet. Number 33 UFO seen in the Middle East. The U.S. Department of Defense released this classified footage in April 2023. This footage was taken somewhere in the Middle East. The exact location has not been disclosed. A military drone captured an apparent silver orb-like object that crossed the sensor's field of view. This video was recorded on 12th of July, 2022. The Department of Defense has said that in spite of multiple analysis, the object still remains unidentified. The flying object seems to be a round, metallic, shiny spear moving in a straight line. Then suddenly it moves to the right when the military drone tries to lock onto its position. This shows that the highly advanced technology of the UAP was able to detect the U.S. military drone without any physical contact. Even till the end of the video, the military drone was not able to focus on the UAP as it kept dodging the sensor. Then one year later, in June 2023, NASA held a press conference to talk about that particular UFO sighting. NASA is also closely working with the Pentagon to find out what exactly they had encountered in the Middle East. But this was not the first time that such a metallic sphere was seen by military personnel. As we move ahead, you will be shocked to see how close some UFOs got to the armed forces. Number 34. Three UFOs seen in Texas. This sighting took place on a warm night in September 2018 in Tomball, just north of Houston. A group of friends had gone out to dinner that night and had just returned to their apartment complex when suddenly they noticed something disturbing in the night sky. Out of nowhere, two stationary bright lights appeared in the sky, and then suddenly, the third one made itself visible, like it was hiding its presence from everyone. Then the two lights moved away from the third one, circling around in formation, but eventually coming back to a triangle formation. Then suddenly, after some time, the UFOs just disappeared and again reappeared. One of the eyewitnesses was an ex-military from the United States Air Force, and he was convinced that what he saw that night was not from this world. He made it very clear that they were definitely not flares nor any aircraft he knows of. These UAPs bear a striking resemblance to the triangle-shaped UFO recorded from a doorbell camera in Sunrise, Florida in 2023. And this was also not the only time a UFO was spotted in Texas. In April 2022, in a town called Kyle, a strange UFO was captured on camera emanating an orange glow. 
which has never been seen in other UFO sightings. And as always, local officials had no explanation for the orange UFO. But why are so many sightings happening in and around Texas? Do aliens have a secret base in Texas that we don't know of? Talking about military bases? Some UFOs came surprisingly close to U.S. Navy warships. Let's continue watching to find out more. Number 35. Triangular craft seen by the U.S. Navy. This footage was again leaked by ufologist Jeremy Corbell who had earlier released the Jellyfish UAP video. The video was recorded by U.S. Navy personnel and was captured with a night vision camera from the destroyer USS Russell in 2019. This was then leaked by Jeremy Corbell in 2021. The government's classified briefing clearly mentioned that the triangular UFO was definitely not owned by the United States or any other country, or even a private spaceflight firm. Some think that this might be an advanced version of the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber, that the US military might have been testing at that time. The Stealth Bomber 2 has a triangular shape and has a similar flight pattern. Surprisingly, the military personnel who recorded this video said that the UFO was behaving in unexpected ways. In addition, the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, set up in 2020, couldn't determine what the craft was. Later, we will look at another massive UFO sighting bearing the shape of a triangle that took place in Florida, USA. Number 36, UFOs spotted on the moon from Moscow. UFO activity is not just something that happens on Earth, but on our natural satellite as well. A photographer from Moscow, Russia, captured something on the moon that left him totally spellbound. Anyways, there are conspiracy theories that the moon is an alien base, but this footage just solidified such beliefs. Back in 2019, a Russian photographer set up his equipment to shoot a full moon over the city of Moscow. And while trying to focus, he saw something very unusual. At first glance, he could see three circular objects moving near the surface of the moon. And then when he tried to refocus to confirm what he saw, to his amazement, now there were multiple circular UFOs moving at the same speed from left to right over the moon. It seemed like an entire battalion of UFOs was flying out for a mission over the moon. Analysts are still not able to ascertain what exactly these flying circular lunar objects were. And seems like one of these alien spheres made it to South America. Number 37. UFO hovering over airport in Puerto Rico. This incident took place in Aguadilla, a city in Puerto Rico. The compelling footage was captured in April 2013 over the Rafael Hernandez Airport by a Customs and Border Protection aircraft. In this footage, we can clearly see that the forward-looking infrared camera tracking the movement of this UFO was finding it extremely difficult to keep track of it because of its intense speed and agile movement. In the footage, we can see a sphere-like object swiftly flying first over the airport and then over road and commercial buildings. Even the military personnel capturing the footage said that the UFO exhibited characteristics that cannot be explained by any known aircraft or natural phenomenon. Also, they added that this UFO was definitely smaller than an aircraft so maybe it was an alien probe sent to survey the airport area. The CBP aircraft continued following the sphere for more than 10 minutes, and during this time it slowly moved towards the ocean. That's where things got weirder, because the sphere suddenly dipped inside the water. and when it emerged out of the water, it split into two UFOs while traveling at the same speed. The 
UFOs again went underwater, but this time, never to be seen again. The military personnel were perplexed and horrified as to what they had just witnessed. Surprisingly, similar metallic spheres have been spotted over U.S. military bases. Let's continue watching the video to find out more. Number 38. UFO reported over New York's LaGuardia Airport. This is the latest sighting in the list. This shocking sighting took place just recently in March 2024. Michelle Reyes was on a commercial flight above New York's LaGuardia Airport on the 25th of March. She was casually recording a video of New York's skyline like most travelers do as their plane gets ready to land, when suddenly, she spotted something very unusual. She saw a mysterious eerie-looking black disc-like object zooming past her plane from right to left. The dark object was traveling at roughly 2,500 feet above ground level and was relatively close to the plane. The motion was really quick, but if we pause the footage you can clearly see that this UAP was neither a drone nor any manned aircraft that we know of. Now let's see the footage in real time. Even if we consider the fact that the plane and the UFO are moving in opposite directions, it still seemed like the UFO was moving at tremendous speeds, like a fighter jet. No man-made drone yet can achieve Mach speed while flying. After recording the footage, Michelle Reyes immediately emailed the Federal Aviation Administration to let them know what she saw. But even the FAA are still clueless as to what the mysterious black disc was. And this is also not the first time that a UFO was seen flying near an airport. Number 39. UFO seen by a commercial pilot in Colombia. This by far has got to be one of the most hard-hitting evidence for UFOs that has ever been caught on tape. The one-of-a-kind video was recorded by the pilot of a commercial airplane in Colombia. In February 2020, an Airbus A320 was on a routine flight soaring over Medellin, Colombia. At about 30,000 feet in the air, the pilot decided to pull out his phone and record the view. But to his astonishment, he spotted a metallic cube with pointy edges moving seamlessly in a straight line. Now, if this was a weather balloon, it would sway from left to right. But this seemed to be moving forward in one direction, implying that it was being propelled by a powerful engine of sorts. A similar object was spotted by a U.S. fighter pilot in 2018 over the Atlantic Ocean at an altitude of 35,000 feet. That UFO has still not been identified, and its structure seems to be very similar to the cube-like structure that was seen by the Colombian pilot in 2020. Whether these are alien manned spaceships or just probes sent to monitor the area, neither the U.S. nor the Colombian military has any clue. But these UFO sightings are nothing compared to what the U.S. military has encountered on other occasions. Number 40. 10-foot humanoids on a Brazilian mountain. So for people who keep saying that UFOs and aliens are only seen in the U.S., here is something specially for you. Just one week after the Miami Shadow Alien encounter in January 2024, People in Brazil encountered two weird alien creatures on top of a hill at an island three kilometers off the coast of southeast Brazil. Local hikers who recorded the footage reported that two alien creatures were spotted on the mountain, and they were supposedly 10 feet tall, similar to the Miami shadow alien. The reason they say they are so tall is because the shrubbery on that hill was barely reaching their knees, which would ideally cover half of a normal human. The aliens were then seen walking down the hill quicker than normal humans with bigger strides obviously because of their tall stature. Even Brazil's provincial government commented on the video calling the creatures strange beings. Were these the same aliens who were seen in Miami on New Year's and have now moved to South America? Number 41. UFO seen by Colombian pilot. This sighting took place on 4th of May 2023 over Antioquia in Colombia. 
The footage was captured by the pilot while flying in his Cessna T-303 Crusader. According to him, the object was first seen floating and appeared stationary at a specific point between Medellin and Santa Fe. As they approached the UAP, it suddenly moved towards them. He then moved his plane around and started filming. But as he did so, the UAP started moving towards them. He managed to avoid the UAP while flying at a speed of roughly over 300 kilometers per hour. The pilot expressed fear during the encounter, insisting that the object was neither a balloon, a drone, nor any known object to him. Similar flying spheres were also seen in other parts of the world. Let's continue to know more. Number 42. Jellyfish UAP in Iraq This footage was first released on January 10, 2024 by investigative journalists Jeremy Corbell and George Knapp. Jeremy Corbell is a filmmaker and ufologist based in Los Angeles. He obtained this footage from 2018 of a military-filmed UAP incursion within a United States Joint Operations Base in Iraq. This UAP was immediately nicknamed the Jellyfish UFO because of its jellyfish-like appearance. The U.S. military drone monitoring this UAP could only view it in thermal vision. The drone that was designated to track this UAP has the potential of locking in on the tire of a remote car from as far as 27 miles away. But this advanced U.S. military drone found it difficult to lock on to this jellyfish UAP, thus indicating that some alien technology was trying to jam the signals of the drone so that the UAP went undetected. And the odd part is it kept going white and black, meaning hot and cold instantaneously, so as to not get detected by the thermal vision camera which goes to show that this UAP knew it was being monitored for the heat it was emitting and made immediate modifications to go undetected, thus implying that a sentient being was operating that UAP. After hovering over the U.S. Army base for some time, the UAP then went out over a body of water, plunged into it, and stayed underwater for close to 17 minutes. And after 17 minutes, it shot out of the water at a 45-degree angle with tremendous speed and disappeared. Did the UAP go underwater to hide from the U.S. surveillance drone? Or was that part of its mission to survey the underwater area around the military base for further weaponry? Whatever be the case, the U.S. military has no idea what it was. Beyond the Blue.